In this video, I'm gonna show you how to optimize Steam Remote Play. If you find this video helpful, please consider to like this video and subscribe to my channel. In saying that, let's just jump straight into the video. Okay, so what we need to do is open up Steam and then sign into your account. From here, click on the Steam lo logo and click into settings. Now, once we're inside the Steam settings, click onto where it says Remote Play tab. Now, I'm just gonna make this larger so it's easier to see. Now, under Remote Play, we've got Advanced Streaming Options, so go ahead and enable that. Then, the first setting we need to change is Enable Hardware Encoding. Make sure that is turned on. And also, where it says Prioritize Network Traffic, we need to toggle that on as well. Also, we need to turn on these three, so Play Audio on Host, change Desktop Resolution to Match Streaming Client, and use NVFBC Capture on NVIDIA GPU, so make sure they are turned on. And where it says number of software encoding threads, go ahead and make sure that is uh, set at automatic. Now from here, we want to go ahead and turn this on, enable advanced client options. So this is going to improve performance, streaming a game running on another computer, try reducing your game's resolution or adjusting these settings. So go ahead and enable that. Then more settings are going to appear below this. Now under here, where it says video, go ahead and choose that fast. And then where it says band limit, keep that set to automatic. Now under resolution limit, we've got hardware decoding, make sure that is enabled. So now enabling hardware decoding in Steam Remote Play, it significantly improves your video playback performance and reduces latency on the client. So it's pretty much the device you're playing on. So it's gonna allow your GPU graphics card to handle the video stream from the host PC instead of your CPU. This is crucial because decoding a high quality game in game stream, especially at 1080p or 4k is resource intensive so make sure that is enabled now once you've applied these settings you're all set and ready with gaming with remote play